Okay, hello guys and once again, welcome back to the channel. So for this video, I am going to provide you with tips and guides with the different combinations you can use in the housing system to create unique and different designs. I'm also going to provide you with several glitches such as this one and the other one on the other side on how you can perform or apply this on your houses. But do take note for glitches if you do decide to use them on your house then you need to expect that some errors or some unfortunate events might actually happen on your housing or on your houses so you need to be willing to have glitches within the housing system if you do use the bugged options okay so for our first option i'm going to show you how to recreate the garden effect if you watched my video earlier, I visited the top 3 most coziest houses in the Dragon Raha server. And on one of the houses, I was able to check this design out and I was able to I was able to replicate this design. Okay, so first off, you need some plants that has no vases or vase vase <laughs> at the bottom. And then afterwards, you are going to need the cabinet. So I'm going to use the yellow stripe cabinet for this design. You can either choose to show the cabinet design or if you want, you can show the back side to make it plain. But for this video, it doesn't matter. It's up to you on how you would want to use this on your house. So the main purpose for this is to cover the plants out or not to cover but to show the illusion that you're protecting the plants the plants from outside element so i'm gonna show this option to you right now so this might take a few minutes or a minute or two or a few seconds depending on what you're using and do take note uh, this is not a glitch. This is an item combination. So I'm combining different decorations within the game in order to create a different outcome. Okay, so there we go. You might use around 7 or 8, if I'm not mistaken, around 7 or 8 cabinets in order to create a specific design but you might need to use more depending on how big or how long you would want to create this garden so after placing the plants and covering them with the cabinet i need to use the rooftop option so we are going to use the trapezoid roof for this option so just zoom out select your trapezoid roof make the proper adjustments okay there we go okay there so we have now a plated vase or not a vase but a garden effect so just imagine if you have a fence and you do this all around the fence, this would create an effect that you have a garden. You can also lower down the roof if you want the cabinets to show up more. So let's just click on the roof. Just lower down the roof effect or move it out first so you can do the proper adjustments then move it back. Okay, there we go. So we have the roof and garden effect. So you can do this on the first floor, the second, the third, depending on how you would want to use it. Okay, now, and one of the easiest to do would be the a more defined column. So we are going to use that right now. So what you need is the rooftop and the trapezoid roof as well. Place the trapezoid roof on the surface make the proper adjustments depending on how big your column is okay so let me just adjust this to the proper square that i need 
okay there we go so I just want the smallest column I can make so that would be one cube square or one square afterwards just move your column to fit in the roof in order to finish the effect if it's not working then get your roof and adjust it on the column so there you go you have a more refined or defined column with the base design so this is good for the outside design if you want to create a more elegant design from the outside now for this third option okay I won't do this first <laughs> so a lot of players have been asking me how can you make the glass um, what do you call this the glass fence so how can you make the glass fence do you know how to make the glass fence can you show the glass fence yes I know and I'm showing it here right now but first off I'm going to show one of the other questions that a lot of players have been asking how can you create a tiled pathway outside the house okay so in order to do this option you would need an anchor so an anchor is a wall or the initial wall for a certain structure that you need to keep in order to keep the design intact so this is my anchor wall after creating your first anchor wall you can either make it small or two squares long I will now design the pathway for the outside tile. So make sure that you're creating a size that can actually work because some designs will not work for this option. So it's a trial and error basis. So just try and try. So I'm just gonna make a small one so that we won't waste too much time okay then I'm going to make an enclosure you know it's gonna work if you have this tiled option okay since I have the tiled option just click on your floor select the tiles that you would want to use apply it now remove the edit option go back click on the remove option raise your walls delete all the walls except for the anchor wall or the initial wall that you created and there you go so you have the outside tiles now the best option here would be to use your imagination on how you can apply this on the outside a lot more depending on your design and as you can see here, if I delete this anchor wall, that will destroy the pathway as well. So just delete the wall or the roof, okay? I'm sorry, I forgot to show that. I'm going to delete the ceiling. Okay, so there we go. And if you click on edit and if you delete the initial wall, then everything will disappear. So make sure to utilize the anchor wall with your base design when you're creating a house in order to keep this option. But do take note that once the wall is glitched, then your design will probably be removed or it won't work anymore. Now for the floating balcony, a lot of players have been asking about that as well. And how did I keep the floored or the white floored tiles when every time I keep or I design a house so this is one of the option so it's the similar it's similar with the tiles you need a basic anchor so let's use the anchor first so what you need to do is create your basic wall I usually create my wall or my anchor wall at the back of the house okay then afterwards you just create your structure your enclosed structure when you're building a house okay there we go so it's built then just delete the walls okay if you encounter a glitch like that just visit a friend's home any friend will do then just go back 
So go back to your house. So as you can see here, we encountered a glitch. This is the problem when you're using glitch. It will definitely cause problems with your designs. So use it with the warning. So let's do that one more time. Use the basic wall. I'm going to create my anchor wall. Then I'm going to enclose it. Okay, there we go. It's glitching again. Then delete the walls that you don't need. Okay, it's glitching. If it's totally glitching, if visiting your friend's home is not working, then leave. Then just go back. If the skills or if your building tools are is still glitching, you have no choice but to log off and log back in. Make sure to restart the game. That's the best option I've realized or I've experienced in order to avoid glitches in the long run. But since I'm only providing examples, I don't have to restart the game. So let's just build another wall here. So as mentioned earlier, create your anchor wall. Okay, so after creating your anchor wall, select the build option again and create an enclosure okay there we go make sure to leave the edit button first then go back just so that the walls would refresh then click on the remove button okay it's still glitching I need to restart so I won't restart it for now Okay, so I guess I need to restart. Let me pause the recording. Okay, so we're back. As mentioned, create your anchor wall first. Then afterwards, make an enclosure. So I had to restart the game because the glitch is getting worse. So this is the problem every time you use a glitched, a glitched option on the game or in the game. Okay, so there's my enclosure. Now I'm going to use the delete option. There we go. And there we go. So I can now leave the edit option. And as you can see here, you now have the floating balcony, including the tiles. Now there's another option on how to create this build now we are using the basic room now for the basic room create your structure first or create a basic room okay i'm glitching a bit okay let's try that one more time so select the basic room create the room that you need Leave the edit button, go back, use the basic wall, create an anchor column on the back or on the front, depends on how you want to use it. But as you can see, it's glitching again. Okay, there we go. And afterwards, you just need to delete the walls that you don't need. Okay, so that's one of the options on how you can create the anchor to make the floating balcony and the white tiles. Now, what everyone has been waiting for or hoping for, I'm now going to show you how to build the glass fence. So let me just look for a suitable space. Okay, this will do. The first thing you need to do is to click the basic room. And then create that room or use the basic room and create the structure that you want afterwards click on the remove button delete the first wall 
Then afterwards, go out from the edit option. Click on the basic wall and recreate or rebuild the wall that you removed. Okay, so afterwards, leave the edit button again. This is the safest way to do this. Then click on the wall. If the wall is showing the highlighted or if it's showing that the whole box is highlighted, then it did not work. You need to click on the remove button. Remove the first wall again. Click on the basic wall. Rebuild the deleted wall leave the edit button go back click on the front wall as you can see here the first wall is the only thing that is highlighted it means it's working so sell that wall once you've sold that wall click on the whole structure and when once everything is highlighted click on confirm this will bring back the wall after the wall is back just place the windows that you want to use Okay, let me just position the windows first. Okay, there we go. So after positioning the windows, go visit a friend's home or you can leave if you want. Okay, so once you leave, just wait for a few seconds. Afterwards, click on back or go back. And once you're back, visit the design and there you go so we have your glass fence now this is a very glitchy move to use so it's up to you if you want to use it um, it's a bit difficult to adjust so let's do it one more time just to make sure that you can get it right so click on the edit button use the basic room after using the basic room, click on the remove button, remove the first wall, click on the edit button, select the basic wall, rebuild the wall that you deleted, afterwards leave the edit option, go back, click on the first wall, and as you can see, upon clicking, it's the only one in the white selection. It means that you got it right. Sell that wall. Click on the whole structure. Click confirm. Once you've clicked confirm, place the windows and or place the windows in order to make them as a fence. Afterwards, leave. So if you're using the window option for a fence, make sure that you've measured the walls so that you won't have issues later at the game, especially if you're making adjustments. Okay, so after leaving your own home, go back. And there we go. So we have the glass fence. Okay, guys, if this video helped you out, make sure to click the subscribe button. It will really help me out. And make sure to click the like and leave a comment as well if you have other techniques, bugs that you have noticed or other combinations that is kind of good to use in the game and once again thanks for watching this is mmoph make sure to visit me as well at s2 valhalla server thanks for watching